Let's go over to some guys who, you know, steer the ship, make the whole thing happen. Let's go over to the coaches. Let's, let's right, see what I'm we not going to share a screen for this. Let's just talk about it. Yeah, I've I've got some of the odds up here. I can just I'll just I have quickly, picks. I don't need to share a screen. I have picks. No, yeah, just for the viewers, I'm going to quickly run through a couple of the popular picks and the favorites real quick. I'll do it real quick. Dan Campbell, Lions, plus 850. Sean Payton, Broncos, plus 900. Matt Eberflus for the Bears, 1100. Arthur Smith, 1400 for the Falcons. And then you start going into Matt LaFleur, Robert Salam, uh, Mike McDaniel, uh, D'Amico Ryans, Doug Peterson. Beyond that, the rest of the league, it's all 2500 or or worse or better, I guess, in what whatever perspective you want to have. But those are the top guys. You've got some notable guys, Kyle Shanahan plus 3,000, Bill Belichick way at the Look bottom. That um, oh, yeah, I will click that banner. So, you know, coach of the year, we're not going to do it too much. We each got one pick here. You go ahead. Um, I, I have two picks, but but that's fine. Uh, my coach of the year picks, I have one, yes. one uh, shorter odds, one longer odds. Um, yeah, my first pick for coach of the year is Robert Salah. Uh, I think the Jets win the AFC East. I think the Jets win 13 games. And if that happens, he wins coach of the year. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, that if the New York Jets win 13 games, their coach is going to win coach of the year. Um, I think a lot of, I think some detractions will be how good the defense already was. And you brought in a top three quarterback in NFL history as your quarterback. If the New York Jets win 13 games. Their coach will be coach of the year. Seems likely, perhaps. Um, I like Arthur Smith at the plus fourteen hundred mark. The Falcon. They, everybody loves a good, you know, not necessarily comeback story, but they they love when a coach takes a team that's been down in the dumps for a while and kind of with you know expectations and actually achieves them. So if the Falcons win 10, 11 games, win the NFC South. I could see Smith winning. He is my legitimate pick. I think the Falcons will be a 10-win team, win the NFC South. And you saw Brian Dable, only 9-7-1. and one. It was his record, won the coach of the year last year for kind of a similar project in a way. I know the Falcons brought in a lot of guys. But you do have Desmond Ritter as your quarterback. It is somewhat the same roster construction. So a 10-win team, 11-win team, I think that could get it done even 11 win Falcons team. I think they'd give the award over Robert Salah at 12 and five, maybe 13 and four. I uh, do. Arthur's been rocking a sweet mustache. I don't know if you've seen him this summer. I haven't, um, I haven't, that but that's still a good. lot of confidence. That looks like a confident man, a man confident. He's, he's got something this year. The sweet mustache makes you think he's got a real chance at it. Um, yes. Rogers is a top three quarterback in NFL history. What do you think, Brendan? Is Aaron Rodgers a top three quarterback in NFL history? No. Tom Brady? Joe Montana? Yeah, Joe, Joe Montana. Aaron, Ro I, I, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. No way. Are you kidding? No way. <laughs> I, I'd Peyton say Manning, maybe. you want to know my list. Tom Brady, uh, Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, John Elway. Um, I'd probably put a couple more before Rodgers. I do think Rodgers is – Rodgers is top five most talented quarterbacks in NFL history, I would say. Um, this is a – wow, we just got derailed. Uh, my coach of the year, my other pick for coach of the year, and I like this pick. I really like this pick. Long odds. It's a sweet long odds. Mike McCarthy, plus 4,000. Um, if Dallas wins the division, Dallas is a really, really loaded roster. This is your worst um, take. If ever. they overcome the worst take ever. If they overcome the Eagles and win the division with Mike McCarthy taking over the offensive play calling, if they have one of the top offenses in football, he absolutely can win this award. Mike McCarthy plus four thousand is a crazy long line for a team that could could win thirteen or fourteen games on the right version of this season. And if they do that, look out, Mike McCarthy, coach of the year, plus four thousand is, is crazy. It's odds. just, it's just, it's just honestly, you. have We've known each other for a long time. You've said a lot of stuff to me. That's that's top three worst takes you've ever said to me in your life. Top three, just like Aaron Rodgers. Top three. That is awful, awful take. He's a big, fat, dumb idiot. You don't idiot. think he can? There's a difference He's between a, saying I think a guy can win coach year or saying I think he will have earned it. I, I don't – look – I don't think he can. No, I do not. I really just do not. Um, I do. If they win the division, I think he's right up there. 
I, he's look, you, you don't even think he's a good coach, man. I don't think you need to. I, uh, most of the ones who win it, I don't think we're good coaches. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. From maybe from the, maybe you can make an argument from the, the, the betting, the gambling perspective, which I is, think he's, he's plus 4,000. The biggest change the Cowboys made this off season was letting him take over offensive play calling. If in doing that, they win the division against a team who's the favorite to win the, the NFC against the Eagles. I think he gets so much credit for that right away. I think he wins this award. Plus 4,000 is gigantic for a guy who, if he wins this division, I think he wins. All right. All right. I, I just fully disagree. I, I don't think he will win or can win. I think he's a very bad coach and I think he's uh put a pin in this one, folks, put a pin in this one, folks. He's sure. Put a pin it. Yeah. Please pin this one. Um, yeah. My other coach, I guess uh, I, I wasn't going to say it, but I, but Kyle Shanahan's getting 30 to one. He's getting plus 3000. If, if his choice to go with Brock Purdy is correct, and to give up on the Trey Lance experiment and to ship Jimmy away to uh, Las Vegas. If that ends up all being correct and this team ends up being 13, 14, 15 win team, like I think they will be. Um, he hasn't won this award. I feel like he's highly considered one of the most creative coaches in the NFL, um, especially offensively, obviously. And if they have like a big crowning year where they're, 14 and three, 15 and two, win some big games, you know, beat the Eagles, whatever, smoke the division. I think 30 to one's a decent price to give it to Shanahan. Um, especially though, he'll be, he'll be, they'll be laser. The microscope will be laser focused on him this year for the pretty decision. So totally agreed. I think a lot of that stuff helps you because it is very hard to win it without overcoming. And I think they've been so good that it makes it harder for him to win it.